Omar Abdul Wahib. That was his unanimous points win over Carlos, Carlos Alberto Mukamba of Mozambique, the two-time national championship gold medalist. The first bout of the tournament for Jonas Jonas was a unanimous points decision win over the reigning national champion of Tanzania. Slavonir Milcerek of Poland is the referee. So we're underway then. And then out immediately behind a left jab. Not interested in touching gloves is Abdul Wahib Omar. 26 years of age from Ghana, ranked number 51 in the world. The 2016 Rio Olympian scores with that left hand to the body once again. The boxer wearing blue is Jonas Jonas. Ranked 36 in the world, the tournament number four seed. And these two boxers have very recent history. Because when Jonas Jonas took the bronze medal at the All-Africa Games in Morocco last year, he prevailed over Omar at the semi-final stage. And that was a 3-2 split in his favor. That's how close the contest was. And we can expect similar here as the boxers look to book their place at the final four of Dakar 2020. Yeah, both guys look pretty evenly matched, don't they? You can see why it was close the first time round, Ronald. Box of Ghana pressing. Jonas back. Jonas looking to keep it long and turning off the line with the counter punches. Contrasting styles. Omar behind a high held guard or a very relaxed guard down by his kneecaps being proffered by Jonas. Pecking and poking with shots from the belt line is the man in blue. Omar with a arcing right hand around the corner which crashed into the jaw of Jonas look for the same shot once again beautiful left right combination from Jonas but he takes a right hand in return over his defenses which are nowhere to be seen not, because not just he's now. holding them down by, down by his quads <laughs> well he's using his legs and his reflexes is Jonas but Wahib being presented with an inviting target and he has the hand speed to capitalize in it, on it Jonas switching stances between South Pole and Orthodox. That's not the bell for ring A. Jonas finds himself pinned in the corner, having retreated to his place of sanctuary with a minute to go. Good straight one two there from Jonas. Ungainly boxing from Jonas there. Switching between Orthodox and South Pole. Not knowing himself, in my opinion, which he prefers yet. He's not got into any kind of rhythm. Mind you, neither has Omar. There's a good right hand from Omar, which drove Jonas back to the ropes. Jonas catapulting himself off the strand. And then spoken to about pulling down on the neck of Omar. Well, neither man working away on the inside. You know, both look at the hold, Ronald. And I do find that rather surprising, particularly from Omar. Good one to from Jonas there. Nice left jab landed with the inside of the glove from Omar. Pinning the man in a neutral corner and flailing away as the bell sounds to end the first round. Well, he put a lot into that first round, did Omar. There's those ungainly steps. And a whippy uppercut, changing feet, switching feet, almost continuously. The tall, very lean Jonas. Well, it's a 3-2 split, excuse me, a 4-1, a 3-2 split in favour of the man from Ghana. Incredibly tight, competitive third round, first round, judges A, B and D favoring the work of the man in red. So into the second round then, 63 kilogram light welterweight action between two boxers looking for their second consecutive Olympic berth. Mentioned the fact that Omar boxed at 56 kilograms in Rio four years ago. Jonas boxed in the 64 kilogram light welterweight division. So Omar has come up. Jonas has had to shed a kilo to make the new bracket of 63 kilogram lightweight. Good right hand over the top from Jonas. 
Yeah, that couldn't be easy for Jonas. Tall and lean lad. And still young, so still probably growing and developing. Good combination there from Jonas. Steps out of range and goes back in again. He's having good success here. He He's found indeed. a little rhythm for himself, Ronald. Whoa! Combination punching from the man in blue. Wow. And Omar becoming just a little bit disorganized. He's covering up on the ropes, but he's not being given any respite from this threshing machine punching yeah. from Jonas. Fantastic stuff from Jonas there. You nailed it. Threshing machine. He kept the combinations oh. coming, Ronald. Lovely stuff again. What a right hook around the corner from Jonas. It, Jonas, it fairly crashed home. And Omar, who is used to being the busy pressure boxer, is finding himself outworked and he's being kept so busy trying to defend these shots, he can't get any offense Whoa. away. Double jab, right hand, beautiful volume punching of the accurate variety from Jonas. Really good stuff there, Ronald, from Jonas. He's just kept them flowing and he's found himself now in a little bit of an advantage here. He's got a lovely rhythm going, although Omar does come back with a good right hand there. You just get the feeling that if Jonas gets those hands working again and he's settled his feet a little bit as well which is going to help him a lot his feet continually were switching and changing which was putting him off balance not able to set his feet to get his shots off now oh, the heads have come together so rather one. violently oh. there and oh. Jonas wincing immediately oh I heard that one Ronald they crunched together there I fairly felt it from our commentary position Jonas still wincing as the action resumes will that disrupt the flow that he was able to establish so magnificently over the course of the first two minutes he scores with a good right hand on a retreat brings through a flashy bolo shot like the Montreal Olympic champion fend off this man's free flowing yep. combinations a beautiful display really really good there he got himself in a lovely rhythm and he maintained a high punching volume there. And he did not relent. He kept this up for so long. Punches coming from all angles as well. And as we see, his feet are in perfect position there. Not switching continuously, which has thrown him off balance recently. Remember, it was 3-2 in favour of Whoa. Omar in the first round. But look at that. Sweeping the board. 10-8 for Judge D. That was how much dominance Jonas was able to assert during the course of the second round, a terrific turnaround by the Namibian boxer. And this man has it all to do now. So into the third and final round then. Jonas Jonas, the reigning Commonwealth Games gold medalist at 64 kilograms from Gold Coast 2018. Had a dominant second round. All the momentum is in his favor. Coming forward behind a double jab. The right hand was caught effectively by the left glove of Omar. But then the second right hand got around the guard of the man in red. Ad did the follow-up. Repeated right hand successes for Jonas Jonas. And Omar is not making the adjustment to fend no shots off. Oh, Jonas boxing beautifully here. Heads coming dangerously close together once again. But Jonas, Jonas has really found his range with just about every punch in the book. Remaining in the orthodox stance predominantly and scores with a good left hook. And Omar, well, he's got to try and do something after being dominated in the second round. The man who took the first round on a 3-2 split has already conceded the first minute of this round for my money. But he is a very, oh, beautiful right uppercut landed oh, by Jonas and then a right, right jab over the top. Left hand landed by Jonas. He is peppering Omar with just about every oh. shot in the book, including that check right hook. Terrific stuff from the man in blue. <laughs> Wasn't it just? He's got himself in a lovely rhythm. When he fixes his feet, he's absolutely brilliant. He really is. Well, it has been a torrid first half of this final round endured by Omar. He gamely comes forward with a left right, but he's way off the mark and was countered by a right hand from Jonas. It is all Jonas through two minutes completed in the third and final round. Yep, he's really turned it on now, hasn't he? Well, Omar looking to his red corner and he's cutting a rather forlorn figure up there in the boxing ring. His bid to book his berth in a second successive Olympic Games, hanging by a thread. 
And the sands of time are running out. The clock in favor of the man in blue, who has been irresistible for practically the entire duration of rounds two and three so far. Omar willingly back into the breach, but you can see how much he's feeling the exertions of this contest and the shots he's absorbed. Yep, he is the one that's holding here, Ronald. That's for sure. And his mouth is wide open. Jonas ambles away. Heads come close together as well. Quick feet from Jonas as he right finds down. himself on the other side. As he puts himself on the other side of Omar. Closing seconds as the clapper sounds. And that just about sums this second and third round up. The jolting right hand from Jonas knocking Omar off balance. And there can be little doubt that Jonas Jonas of Namibia has, has earned a repeat victory over Abdul Wahib Omar. This man edged the first round 3-2, but in, ra in rounds 2 and 3, while well, Jonas Jonas just turned on the style, found his flow, and hit Omar with just about every punch in the book. Omar must have felt as though he was surrounded. Terrific display <laughs> by Jonas Jonas. Yeah, so good. They, they named him twice. <laughs> Jonas Junius Jonas is the man's full moniker, a triple wow. J. So cool. It's been a terrific performance by the reigning Commonwealth Games gold medalist. Let's get the official announcement, which would, should see him progress through to the final four. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner from Namibia. So, Jonas Jonas, the tournament number four seed, the 36th ranked boxer in the world over Abdul Wahib Omar. The 2016 Olympian, the 2014 Commonwealth Games bronze medalist eliminated at the quarterfinal stage. He gives thanks to both the crowd and the boxing gods after his performance here at Dakar 2020. Three contests, winning the first two, but eliminated by some beautiful boxing, Just particularly fantastic. in rounds two and three by Jonas Jones. Just brilliant. You know, saying here, taking some notes... Ronald was just Jonas's feet are the only thing that he really needs to fix to sort himself out because he's going to be a brilliant a really effective boxer if he manages to keep his feet on balance all the time he's got a real habit of switching continuously switching his feet which leaves him out of position quite a lot but when he sets himself up and starts to let the punches go with those long levers he really is impressive. There's a final score now, Ronald. So 20.